Well, 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 look what I found. I was just sorting out in my own mind a route in my own area and I've come across some terra preta. Yay! It's only a little bit, but that is just perfect. I'm looking for a good route to the north, really, guys, to try and mark it out. And it's fabulous landscape around here, uh, but it's not the easiest of routes to get across. Yeah, but it's a very beautiful landscape. Look at the quartz in that little side over there. And these wonderful, wonderful rock formations. I'm out here actually collecting rock as well. I'm collecting everything actually. I've just found more seeds I haven't seen before. More, f getting a lot of flax actually. But the terra preta was a real plus, guys. That's blue clay. There's a lot of blue clay around here. Um, but this beautiful archway over here. Um, the feeling of space and desolateness is absolutely fabulous. I'm picking up all the rocks because I keep wanting to wander off and see them and see whether I've, uh, you know, missed something, which I generally haven't. But I have found things like copper that I hadn't seen before. So I've been just collecting gently around my own area. And I've got a lot of these sort of low-lying ponds and I've been just sort of creating a few little land bridges between them. Yeah, just to make life a little bit easier. Uh, like this area here. Yeah, just sometimes it's better. Oh, more loose rock. Yes, and I found that there's another entrance to this vast cave over which I'm building. So the road is going to go along here as a starting point. But I'm so short of uh, pathways. I'm short of rock, actually. There we are. I knew I had some. I think that's going to give me two more. Oh, my God goodness me uh, never mind two is better than none when you want to lay down long pathways when you've doing things like taking up whole hillsides it's fine but I don't think I'm going to be able to basically path out that distance I mean I have done some ferociously large paths around here if you if you look at this one, I mean, they are very long paths. Uh, and this one, yeah, that's roughly about where I want to go up there. Uh, if I can find a way through the hills, I think that's the way through over there. But uh, getting through the hills is my issue at the moment. And I have actually extended my farm. It was driving me mad having a place up here where the where I was one short because I like to grow in batches of three I mean that's what will irrigate that's why I like batches of three so I've just extended this by one line of terra preta I've got plenty of terra preta and I'm actually contemplating taking the farms across to there not sure whether I'll do that yet, but I am concerned over the amount of food I have for the future. Extraordinary, isn't it? And I'm just wondering about whether to put a little dog leg up there. I'm rather uh, unenthusiastic about it, I think would be the best way of putting it. But the whole place is coming along very nicely. Uh, you may have wondered why. I've got a line of rocks on top of that hill. Well, I've decided I'm going to have to move my windmill. So that's the next project on the list, guys. Well, guys, I've decided to do a little bit of panning just because I fancied doing it. And look at my bar. 
I've already got, I've just done one piece of the shale sand and I've got a piece of copper and a rusty gear. How good is that? So I think I'm just going to pan for a little. I love the fact that you can actually sort of treasure seek through it. Well guys, I panned for half the night till a temporal storm came through, which I slept through. And for half a night's panning, I got 20 shale, two granite, I was using different types of sand, two clear quartz, one clear quartz there. Do those fit together? They do not. So that's two quartz, that's right, one clear quartz. Eight copper, one rusty gear, one metal part, and a copper arrowhead. Now, I don't actually think that's a bad haul um, for just a little bit of panning. I didn't get quite through that sand block, I'll leave it there. Uh, mostly because this temporal storm came through, which I slept through. But that was not bad at all. Well, 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 it just goes to show. I found copper out here. More importantly, I found more terra preta. Look at that. And more seeds. The terra preta is the one that interests me, of course. And this looks like quite a big deposit. Well, well, well. I mean, this is in my basically my back garden guys I haven't had to go far to find this but you can only see it from the side and I do wonder oh before we do that let's let's take these don't want to just lose bulrushes or Cooper's Reeds. Right, another. Oh, oh. Is that. We're going to take those. I don't think we'll. Oh, we, we did get a seed. Good. That's it. That's Terra Preta. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I wasn't out here collecting bulrushes, I'll tell you that, guys. But, that's wonderful. Now, let's have a look at the side here. That's low fertility soil. That is low fertility soil. Let's check if no fertility soil. Well, just a little outcrop, but my goodness, I'll take it. No fertility soil. Excellent. What a joy to find terra preta out here. Oh, they're all the hyenas, but I think I'll go and collect these extra seeds as well. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a useful find. And what sort of cave is that shale? Right, let me mark that. Well guys, look at this. I was just going back to my original base and I found, come on, I found a dead raccoon. It must have been in my house. I thought I heard one. It's obviously coming after my berries. Poor little thing. Right, well. Skeletons of the dead on the floor. Well, guys, look your last at this beautiful windmill going round here. Um, the windmill building I'm leaving because it's just... I love it. It's a building I'm really pleased with. I don't want to amend it. But what I do need is to come up here and to get that windmill because I've decided that I'm not going to come back here so I need not to have this here right axle axle angled gears so I'm taking the windmill down I'm on the ladder here which is a shame 
but nonetheless. Right, let's come down here. And then we've, I've got so much stuff here and I'm not going to use it, guys. I'm not going to stand over here because my, um, my, yeah, I'm picking all this up. Temporal gear is totally negative here. So what we're going to do is to take all this wealth, and this is wealth, guys, with us elsewhere. So let's pick all that up. Now, have I picked everything up? I have. Let me check nothing has got caught up on here. I mean, we can always reconstruct it here. Now let's go and get the sails. Right. So very, very valuable things. Sails take a lot of linen. Now, I should have quite a few sets. Yeah, I've got all four sets. Brilliant. You know, this we were going to extend this way and build out. Our dreams came to nothing after the update. Uh, this doesn't need to be here. Let's take those two with us. We might find a use for them. All this wealth here in terms of crops and terra preta. We can come back here though. How much room have I got? I have no room at all. That's all I can take back with me. Uh, let me just eat these berries. I don't think that they're going to do what I want them to do. Okay. Right. Just want to check one more time. Raccoons everywhere. This is a beautiful building. I'm leaving it here. Right. Now, we had the bottom shaft coming there. So it was one, two, three, four, five. It was six. I'm, I had the word six in mind, but... Oh, we've got another one there. Thank goodness these stack. That had gone into the chest, I think. Right. Okay, let's check. We've got no other in there. I would like these chests. And I do have the room. Right. Right, let's take them. Good. That's lime. We'll come back for that. That's an empty chest. Gosh, it's so sad, isn't it, when you see something you spent so long on. I'm going to come back for that lantern too. But at the moment, let's just get this lot back. Ah, oh, yes. Honestly, I love this build. I'm just so sad that it came to the point where... This one? That's got stuff in it. We'll leave that. Right. We have collected quite a few chests. <laughs> uh, no, I can't even pick that up. Just go back. Right, I will see you back at the ranch. Right, guys, here I am. Look at this beautiful view. I've put all my windmill gear in there. Um, what I want is a helm, ham, helm hammer. So I'm going to build it up here. I've decided it's going to be here. Right. I think that will look good. The question is, what do we build it out of? Interesting when you've got all this conglomerate brick around. I also want to make sure that I've got a door here. So let's just take that out. Perfect. And that out. Yeah. Good. We have the beginnings of a windmill housing, guys. 
Now I brought back an anvil. So I already have the anvil, but what I do have to make is a hammerhead, a hell of hammer. And I've actually made, I've already made the hell of hammer mold there. Right, so we're, we're progressing well here. Let's get that one back in there. All right. Well, guys, here I am again for another load. And it's a weird feeling when, you know, I spent a lot of time and I love this base. And it's almost like you, I feel that I'm raiding one of the underground ruins, that this is a, a gorgeous build that I don't live in any longer. And it feels really weird actually taking all my stuff, um, you know, all the hours of work I put in. Ooh, flint knives, good. You know, and all this sort of stuff that you, you know, little notes you leave to yourself, all the sort of day-to-day -day detritus of living in a place that you suddenly take away. Now, is there anything out here? No. Right, just checking there. Right, let's move one of these lamps. Yeah, let's move you over here. Spread out the light a bit more. Let's take the lime. I have a feeling we're gonna need that at some point. Right. And then what we do want, of course, I'm not taking the build down. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And you never know. Somebody might want a copy of this map this one day to come and have a good look at everything I've left or did and things like that. And I think also that this can come down. Ah, sad, sad, sad. Right. Now, I don't think there's anything there I want. What I would like to take is this path from just here. Good. Now, I've got a berry bush here. I don't need that at the moment. So I think we will leave that. Good. Let's just harvest that, eat that. Right guys, I am going to try to salt some meat. I've never done this before. It is one meat and I want 32 uh, to, to salt. So if I put, let's put the salt in first. I believe that I don't need, right, will turn into 32 cured red meat out of 20 days of sealing. Right. That's fine, let's do that. Let's seal that. Right. Okay, and I uh, have I got another, I've got 26, that's fine. We'll just go and do the rest of the salt. Um, I'm going to rebuild my uh, A wind, but it won't be the same one. But I am going to, um, oh gosh, hang on. There we go. Uh, I'm going to rebuild my automatic quern. And I think that as I'm progressing towards the end game, and particularly because the next update is seasons, I'm going to want to be brining vegetables, salting meat, and preserving food a lot more. Now, I know I can preserve it in crocs, uh, but at the moment I want to build the windmill, and I've got a lot of halite. That needs grinding up so I think that I will rebuild my automatic quern and that's not like the health hammer it's far less time sensitive I think though I could just leave the health hammer to it that's a good point um, but I'm anyway I'm going to grind up all this 
halite and for 26 meat I'm going to need 40, 52 um, uh, of the halite, uh, 52 salt, salt, because it's one meat to two salt. You don't use water, it's literally just meat and salt. So we'll put that in and I can't mix the meat so I've got chicken on me. Um, but I don't have enough to make it worth salting, but I did kill an awful lot of pigs uh, when I was back at my main base, and it's given me a lot of very good raw meat. So I'm gonna salt the meat and see how we go from there. Just finish off this lot. This is why you need an automatic quern. This is just such a waste of time to stand here. Um, but having an automatic quern linked to a min mill, um, we can just put everything in the hopper at the top and move on with life, frankly. Right, three, two, one. Perfect. Good. Right. Let's do another barrel. It doesn't have to be full up. The main thing is to preserve the meat. So. We've got 26, that is 52 salt. Fifty-two salt, twenty-six. We'll turn it to twenty-six. We're gonna seal it. Perfect. The bowel is not full, but it's good enough. Right down here. Let's put our remaining salt in there. That will be useful. Good, and then we can get back to making the parts for the windmill. Uh, Tiptoeing through the tulips there. Right, now what I want to do is to make a toggle, uh, a wooden toggle, axle. I'm not sure that's what I need for a windmill. Let me just look up uh, H windmill. There we go. And it's a windmill rotor I need. Two blocks of wood, hammer and chisel, that's fine. I've left my hammer and chisel over there. Let's go get them. Easier to make it down here than fighting off drifters, I'll tell you that. Yeah, this is becoming a very much a mechanized area. Right, hammer, chisel. I need another set of sails too. There we go. Lovely fireflies tonight. Look at that. So many plans now. Took a few days off recording and it's amazing how many plans you can come up with. Right, so the windmill rotor. Um have a look and see if we've got what we need. H. Windmill rotor, right. Hammer, chisel, two blocks of wood and some fat. We should be able to do that. Uh, hammer, chisel, two blocks of wood and some fat. This is why I made so much fat. Right, we've got the toggle. Now, I'm gonna need a lot more of these axles, but I also need gears. Let's press H again. That doesn't help. Gear. Angled gears, that's what I want. I'd love a temporal gear, I can't make that. Hammer, saw, chisel, sticks, block of wood. So, hammer, saw, chisel, sticks, um, is that right? No, of 
got it wrong somewhere, haven't I? Is it two sticks? Look it up again. Can't remember these recipes very well. Right. Angled gears. Oh, I forgot the fat. Right. They always have to, all wooden parts have to have fat in them. Hammer, saw, chisel, fat, block of wood, two sticks. Yep. And I'm going to need one. quite expensive on fat these things too so it comes in angle go down angle go I'm gonna need three of those right another block of wood another piece of fat I'm gonna run out of sticks of all the silly things to run out of I'm constantly running out of sticks right that's one two three I think I need four all right, let's just do this. We can always go and cut some trees down for sticks. Yeah, that's right. Now I need some more axles. I've got three and I need one, I need six, seven, eight, nine. I need about 11. Oh my goodness, how do you make an axle? Um, wooden axle right do we need sticks we don't blocks of wood and fat right that will do um, so we need hammer chisel fat and wood okay that'll give me two four six I'll take the eight. I'm just counting it out. There's one at the top. One plus six is seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's about right. Let's just take one, a couple more, just in case. There we go. Right. And then the last thing we need are more windmill sails. Uh, we're going to need linen for this and sticks and I don't think I've got enough sticks for goodness sake I'm gonna to have to go out and get some sticks ridiculous right let's go and get some sticks I tell you of all the things to run out of and I'm constantly running out of sticks I think it's because I, I just use them all the time right, let's go a bit further out this looks a good better one We'll come back and harvest the wood later. That looks better. Good. People say you'll drown in sticks and saplings. Well, drown in saplings, yes. Drown in sticks, not a chance. I use them so much. Right, back we go. And I'm making windmill sails, yeah. So it's sticks and linen, isn't it? And I need one more set. So if I... Th Should I try and remember this? Let's not. Let's just look it up. So windmill sails. I do have an entire... Um, windmill sails? Sail. Right. Three sticks, two, four. Right, one, two, and then one, two, good. That's the other set of sails I need. Perfect. Right, 
let's go across and see if we can sort this windmill out. So that I can get my... Oh, hello. <laughs> now, where would we want it? We want it... Ah. Yeah, that looks about right, doesn't it? At the far end from there. All right, let's take... Um, Pop that up there. I just move some of this stuff out of my inventory just to give myself a bit more space. Right. Uh, break. Those are not what I want for this. I do want the quern. And I'll need these and possibly even more chests. Right, let's see if we can get the windmill going first. So it will be two three four five six was that six and let's see if we can actually what i want yeah i know yeah let me just move this torch out of the way let's eat something So I think that is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, six. Yeah, it is six above there. And I'm going to do the same thing and put some, put a staircase next to it. So that is one, two three four five we need one more six right that goes there we need the axle i'm too far forwards there that's it we need the rotor I fit it on from here. Let's just go up another one, shall we? Make life easy for us. Creature or player is in the way. Yeah, I'll just go up. I need to do this. Right. That's it. There we go. And let's put the first sails on. Nice. Uh, maybe a bit more. Another piece of ladder. Now we need an angled gear. There. That's right just go down a bit now we need the wooden axles there we go that's it perfect down to the ground uh, no we'll put an angled gear there Actually, let's get this let's get this piece of sand out put that in an angle gear there that's it and then again um, yeah let's uh, yeah I don't want to have to be moving blocks from here later so we will put the axle there yep two three that's uh no that's it 
good. I'm just wondering if I've given myself enough room here. could move it over by one or more. The edge of here is coming up to there. Yeah, I could move it over by one, couldn't I? If not two. Hello. One, two, and out. And that is ah. So we've got that even there. It's one, two, there. One, two. Yeah, and that would give it that little bit more. Actually, I think yeah, this could go out there. That is fine. Yeah, that gives me the space I need. Right, so we will put, that's one, two, that's fine. Put an angle gear there. Now, I'm going to need to put some blocks here to put the gears against and I'm going to need one two is that right one two no it's not let's take that down Good, and then let's get the quern. I've got it here. Now, can I put the quern against quern against there? I'm not sure I can, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to put it against. Now, can I put it up there? All I have to take the yes, and it is moving. Oh, it will be. All right, let's go and get the rest of the sails. Let's come up here. There you go. Two. One, two, three. Nice. Yep, so the quern is moving. Right, now what we need to do is to put the hoppers there. Does it fall down? It doesn't. Okay. And have I got chests? I have. Right, so the chest will go there, there, and there. Um, and the hopper, dash it. Um, be better to put the hoppers in first before the chests. Let's put a couple of blocks down to balance them on. That's right, they're the right level because the, the stuff comes out of the side of the quern. Good.
Okay, I can't get one there, but we will block that side from coming out. We'll put a piece of stone on that side, perhaps. That's working so far so good. And then what, I'm starving again. What we need is a hopper at the top to feed into the quern. Gosh, I hope I can get that hopper up there. Can I put a hop? Can I put a... Um, yeah, I can. All right, let's go up a bit. Will it fit on the top? It will. Nah. Do I have to worry about which way round these things are? They look pretty okay to me. What I need is to get some halite to check all this. Right, let's go and get some. <laughs> I hope I'm remembering all this correctly. It, it can easily be altered. That's the nice thing. If you sort of chop up stuff and take it down, uh, it's not the end of the world. Let's take all this. Brilliant. If we are going to have to preserve a lot of food, let's make life easy for ourselves. That's what I say. This is going to look incredible by the time we've finished. Now. All right, now we have to put... That's not going to help. Let's put the halite in there. All right, and then in the one to take that out that's right and I want to put that listen so in here oh let's come back out <laughs> I mean, these hoppers just need a little bit of amendment. I'm just at the moment making sure stuff goes down. All right, we want that out. All right, that is doing what it should do. If I put sticks in there, do they go down? They do. And you can hear them clanging. That's fine. That's got 30 in it. Where's that all gone? If that's got 30 in there and it's... That hasn't got it. That hasn't got it. Coming out the side, no. Now I want to put some stone there. Yeah, that's good. And I think I'll put some stone there. Does it still work? It does. Brilliant. All right, so it's grinding away and it's all in here. Now, if I take that out and I put a stick in there, will it still grind? What will happen to it? Aha. Did you hear that clang? Did you hear that clang? <laughs> right, it's not in there. That's the stick. There we go. That's it. 
should be coming in there now or in one of these chests. Great! Right. I put masses of stuff in there. Good. Yeah, it's going into the chests. Right, well that's going to make life easier. Having that all ground up like that. Brilliant. And the two windmills are working beautifully. Um, I am going to take down the... the ladder and the have I got a yeah let's take the earth down as well right good right so up there we can put the rest of the halite and that will just feed through all the time. Wow. Brilliant. Now I know that we can connect chutes to collect all this up into one chest but frankly at the moment I am very happy just to have See, that's 26 halite with no problems at all. Great. Got clanging there. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can just hear a faint clang as this comes through here. So we have two windmills up and running. Let's go and take this down as well to make it look better. go perfect yeah and they're in line which will look good I love it I love the clanging you can't hear it here it's very faint but you can hear clangs as things go in right Excellent. That is a lot nicer than standing there, just grinding away. Now, let's keep our spare parts in here. Five axles. We're almost there with another windmill, guys. Uh, let's leave... Oh, we don't need to leave linen over here. Anything else? Leave that over here. Oh, and that yeah and let's take back all this what's that conglomerate sand fine don't need it over here brilliant now how does that look let's go and have a look at it probably not good at the moment but the point is it's working it's mechanized Wow. And do you know what I have an insane desire to do? Looking at that shape, if I put a prow sticking out to the right hand side and made the back side into a stern, I could turn that into a steampunk boat that be too whimsical It'd be fun wouldn't it guys it would be real fun we'd have stern cabins we could curve it in from the back quite easily and then just to have a very beautiful in fact if you look at the pattern on the stonework that sharp prow is almost there almost there <laughs> crazy idea be fun though I've never made anything steampunk and it would be a lot of fun to do it 
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. You may have noticed that the building of the Hell of Hammer was not in this video. That's because I used the footage to put together a separate tutorial on how to make and build a Hell of Hammer. I also built the windmill very quickly and I do have a tutorial on how to make, build and automate the windmill, which explained it in a lot more depth. I've put the link to both tutorials in the description below. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, subscribe to me, and I hope I see you in the next episode. Bye bye.